This program is brought to you by the Deeper Life Bible Church, located at 4C Norwich Avenue, Kingston 11. Coming up on today's broadcast. There are persons who may not even be Christian, but they know it is very immoral, ungodly, to kill children that you are to be born. This is the time to clean up your house. Have a clean hand, have a pure heart, because the trumpet will sound any moment from now. Take it from me. I'm inviting you to be part of our Bible reading club. It is something the Lord impressed upon my heart to teach believers how they can read their Bible fast, memorize the Bible, and increase the anointing of God in their life. Go to the Deeper Life website, which is www.deeperlifeschoolofevangelism.org. O R G. Just register your name and say, I am interested in being part of the club, the Bible reading club. Okay? And we will send you an ID of the Zoom meeting looking out for you. It is free. also the men leaving the natural use of the woman in marriage in sex eh? the born in their lust one towards another eh? sodomy homosexual the born lost one to another eh? with men walking that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet again see the consequence because of no good aptitude their response and their reaction to god's instruction in verse 28 say and even um yeah verse 28 and even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge they did not like they have heard about god they have an idea about god they have read from the word of god but they did not like to retain god in their knowledge what did god do god gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness being filled with uh, no being filled with fornication is the first one huh yeah unrighteousness fornication wickedness covetousness maliciousness full of envy murder debate deceit malignity, whisperer, verse 30, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who, watch it again, watch it again, this is what we call aptitude, who knowing, they know, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same but they have pleasure in them that do them you can imagine that you know now we are having serious issue in Jamaica what is at the front burner right now is about those who are pushing hard about legalization of abortion in Jamaica and they are telling the people in the House of Parliament that they shouldn't uh, vote publicly. Why shouldn't they vote publicly when we voted them publicly to go to the House of Parliament? Huh? When they are saying that even minors could commit abortion without the consent of their parents. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Huh? God forbid, I have three girls and one boy. Thank God, even though my daughters are married, 
but I imagine all those whose children are, whose daughters are going to primary school, eh? going to high school, and they are to commit abortion without the consent of their parent. Ah, oh, our parliamentarians should think twice because most of our parliamentarians in Jamaica, they many of them had a good taste of the church in Jamaica. You know, years ago, there's only one religion we teach in school, and that was Christian religion. Now they have made to become seven major religions. Hinduism, Islamism, Buddhism, and all kinds of stuff is what we teach now in the high school and even the primary school. But when Jamaica was Jamaica, eh, and it was only the Christian religion, people were taught the Bible, even though they were not born again, but the fear of God was in the heart of the people. Now, people who have voted into the House of Parliament are saying there should be no public voting uh, for such a critical issue. Uh, they should put it on referendum and let the public vote. It is then they will know the reality instead of people who have money using their money to push and to push because they have the money and the poor people cannot uh, resist them. Hey, let them put this issue of abortion to referendum and make it a public stuff. And let's see where it will go. Because there are persons who may not even be Christian, but they know it is very immoral, ungodly, to kill children that were to be born. And many of these people who are talking, supporting themselves, were aborted. They will never talk the way they are talking. It's unfortunate. Very. Un I don't know. I wouldn't have been able to do what I'm doing today if I've been aborted. Hmm? If I was if I was aborted by my mother, eh? it's very unfortunate. We just pray that the God of glory will guide all our parliamentarians to think deeply. It's not just a matter of conscience vote. It has to be a public vote. Let's move on. We're talking about attitude, aptitude, altitude. If we are to rise above, and people should stop using Jamaica in comparison to Guatemala, um, other countries. Jamaica is Jamaica. The national anthem of Jamaica speaks about the background of Jamaica. It is Jamaica. Ja makes this country. And Jamaica can be the horn of the Caribbean. By showing the example that righteousness is what exalts the nation. And there's no way bloodshed can make this country to excel. Bloodshed, find time to read Isaiah chapter 59. God will be more angry. We are talking about, <laughs> we are talking about over 1,300 killed violently last year. Subsequently, some 1,005, 1,006 killed violently. We're not talking about those killed by coronavirus. We're not talking about those who died by accident. We are not talking about those witchcraft and evil doctor voodoo kill them. Huh? We're not talking about that. And now, we are now going to give license to women. License to even children. Ah, The complaint formerly was that Children are having children in Jamaica. Right now, we're going to see something. You know, when they say they should decriminalize ganja, that was good. If they decriminalize ganja, and they would have looked for a way to regulate it. But right now, they say they should take only some little ounce. People are not smoking ounce now. It's like a pipe. You see people go on the street, long pipe of ganja in the market. They are selling something to you. They are smoking ganja. Sometimes if you are somebody that has, um, you are, you don't like smoke, it's a bit difficult to even pass through some places. The odor is killing. Killing, killing, killing. It is when, God forbid, they legalize abortion, then they should also legalize adultery. They should legalize, um, uh, what do you call it, hedonism. Uh, yes, all those things. And then those who are saying that they should allow people um, that uh, approving sex should be 16 years. They should bring it to 12 years. 
Because we hear some are saying that that's, uh, 18 years is too late uh, to give permission. That even if you have sex with somebody, 10 years child, 12 years child, hey! You see, this is what we show you that depravity, the sinful nature, has nothing to do with education. Because many of the people who are pushing this thing, a good number of them, they are degree holder, master holder, doctorate, and they are pushing it hard. May God have mercy. Jesus just have to come. Jesus just have to come. And the world has not seen anything. Coronavirus is a baby. When God will pour out his wrath, go and read the book of Revelation. Those who are saying this, coronavirus alone, only one disease has paralyzed the whole world. How about when the Bible says the seven vials will be poured out upon the world? Let's see. The Bible says the captains, the army generals, and the leaders, they will all be running for their head and say, death, kill me. And death say, me not want to kill you. I won't kill you. That day is coming. It's coming. And I want to encourage all born again believers, wherever you are listening to me and you are watching me, this is the time to clean up your house. Have a clean hand. Have a pure heart. Because the trumpet will sound any moment from now. Take it from me. The trumpets have to sound. Eh? Some are saying, but it happened in 1890 something, about 100 years ago. Uh huh. That is not the, that time, it's not this time. Because at that time, there was some level of morality and discipline. At this time, everything set loose. Hell is set loose. Morality is broken down. Even when you go to university, some of us had the privilege to be there. You will know that they have nothing like morality. Some of them are even reading books on how to advance immorality, criminality. Mm -hmm. Recently, we are told that many of the criminals, women are those shielding them. Eh? Look at the string thing that happened in Falmouth. That somebody who was paid come to church to kill a woman. A woman of God. Who was in the house of God to worship and to pray. And she stood up. And this man had a God. No fear of God. Just shot the woman. But God is greater. Our condolences. To the Agape Church in Falmouth. And all the family members. And all people of God. That were affected. Or are affected. But let us get this very clear. Bloodshed in Jamaica. Is going to invite rot and plague in this country. Whether we like it or not. Yeah. Whether we like it or not. We Christians don't carry gun. We can't retaliate with the world. Jesus told Peter. Put back your sword. Those that carry sword will die by the sword. So we Christians. We don't use gun. I hear that some persons are saying that. Pastors may have to carry gun. No man. We don't do that. We are under the grace of God. God will protect his own people. And all those that raise their heel against the church, God knows how to deal with them. God knows. Huh? Check out from the, the Old Testament Bible. There are persons that were rebellious against the mandate of God. And God descended on them. Huh? I'm sure you know the Korah, Day, and Abiram. They die on unusual death. The ground opened up and they were buried alive. Hmm? You know, when Miriam became stubborn to the leader of the church, he was baptized with leprosy. What are you going to talk? Huh? In the case of Nehemiah, we hear about Shambhala, Tobias, and the Arabia. They were punished by God. There's no way you will bite the people of God and you go free. No man, you can't even sleep in your house. That's why it didn't take the policemen time to run them down. Kudos to the police for their fast movement. And we pray for you all, police officers, soldiers, and all those working hard. You need our prayer. And also you all should let your hand be clean and let your heart be pure. Let me quickly give you one or two more to show you that there are persons who have attitude and Jesus has given me the mandate. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. 
Go and teach my people about the beatitude, the beautiful attitude. You may say you have a terrible behavior right now. You know, it is behavior that don't make some women to stay with their husband or some men never to keep their wife. Behavior. Behavior make you to lose your work, lose friends, lose your family. Behavior. But that behavior can be transformed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Because you know what happened? The Lord told Ezekiel that if they call upon me, huh? Let me just quickly go there because I see my time running off. In Ezekiel chapter 36, you would have heard me read this before. This is the transforming hand of the Almighty God. In Ezekiel, reading from chapter 36, from verse 25, hear it good. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, huh? and ye shall be clean, clean. What is God cleaning up? Your attitude, your corrupted imagination you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols i will cleanse you and then i will give you a new heart also will i put will i give you and a new spirit will i put within you and i will take away the stony heart the stubborn heart out of your flesh and i will give you a heart of flesh watch it now and I will put my spirit within you. Hallelujah. And cause you to walk in my status. And ye shall keep my judgment. And do them. Mm, watch it now. And ye shall dwell in the land that I give to your fathers. And ye shall be my people. And I will be your God. Come on say a good amen to them. I will be your God. If God be for you. If God be with you. Who can be? against you but you need to change your attitude listen to me psychology can change your attitude philosophy can change your attitude a theist beha behavior cannot change your attitude you know what will change you repentance uh, and renouncing your sinful behavior according to proverbs 28 verse 13 he that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but he that confesseth it and forsaketh them shall have the mercy of God. So if you confess your sin, repent of your sin, renounce your sin, you will receive remission from God in the name of Jesus. And what is the effect of that? You will be rejoicing. And then you see 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, being fulfilled in your life. It therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, is a new creature. It's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you will today humble yourself and say, Lord, my attitude has made me to lose too much. My attitude mash up my marriage. My attitude drove away my friend. My attitude make my children to run away from me. My attitude make me to lose even opportunities to go to the altitude. God want to do something new in you if you will humble yourself. After this program, don't forget to send me a message in my email, deeperlifejamaica at yahoo.com. I want to pray with you. Make up your mind right now because I'm going to ask God for a miracle in your life, in your family, on your health, your material pursuits. God, the God I serve is a God of miracle. Almighty God, I thank you for what you are doing right away. I thank you for the many persons who are watching all across Jamaica. All those who are listening all across this island of Jamaica and those who are watching on the Facebook. Father, I pray, I pray, those persons who are humble and they are having good aptitude, a correctable aptitude, they are not rigid about what they were doing in the past, but they are saying, Lord, I am flexible. Lord, I am ready to be corrected. Lord, Lord I am ready to change. Father, let the power of your Holy Ghost bring forth a change in their life. Bring forth a change in their attitude. Bring forth a change in their business, in their marriage, in their finances. Bring forth a change. Father, transfer them from darkness into light. 
Father, let the umbilical cord of the enemy, of the devil, of sin and wickedness be cut off in Jesus' name. And those of them who are Christians and they are hearing me right now, but they know they have some certain behavior, even though they say they are Christian, and those behaviors are not going away. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the knife, the circumcising knife of the Holy Ghost, circumcise their hearts so they can love you above all else. Let them love you and depart from evil and iniquity. Right now, mighty Jehovah God, I pray, circumcise their heart, sanctify their soul, and give them power to live a holy life, a life pleasing to you, a life that attracts blessing, attracts the goodness and mercy of God. I thank you. And Lord, I pray for those who are sick, who are hearing me now. Those of you gathered in the hospital, you are hearing me. Those of you at the sick bed at home, you are hearing me. Those of you gathered together, maybe around somewhere, halfway tree, Spanish town. Those of you at maybe somewhere at Sam Sharp Square in Montego Bay, or anywhere right now, receive your healing and receive your deliverance in Jesus' holy name. I pray, receive deliverance from that depression you are in, that stroke you had, that accident you have, that lower back pain. I command healing right now, according to the anointing of God in my life. Come and be delivered in Jesus' name. Thank you, gracious God. I know your word has gone forth and the healing is taking place. Salvation is taking place. Redemption is taking place. Receive all glory and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Standing here as a graduate today is an additional evidence to show how awesome God is. I have arrived as a graduate. It does not mean I have accomplished my fullest potential. It only means that God opened the door and I have taken action. An action that led to the part of the greatness. And I say greatness. As, as pastor, I know that I need to continue learning. In learning, because one thing, learning starts, praise God, learning starts when growth starts. So we cannot stop learning. So as a pastor, I want to continue in my learning because only when learning starts, our growth will stop. When God directed my part to the Life School of Evangelism, I didn't know the difference it's going to make in my life and also in my ministry. The menu of bread of life was well served that my knowledge, expression, understanding has gotten fat in it. I have arrived with testimony which give birth to numerous lives we have touched to our personal evangelistic meetings. I have arrived today to let you know that we have gone in the hospital, on the street, person to person, bless the name of the Lord. And I can tell you today, even in the bus park, in our revival meeting, and in the market, we want to give God thanks that we have arrived today to be graduates. Brother Kurt is one of our promoters in our evangelism meeting in the market. And I thank God today for Brother Kurt. Today, Brother Kurt has arrived to be a graduate today. And I thank God. Brother Kurt, I am proud of you because you have been in deeper life of evangelism is by our evangelism out on our streets. Today I want to give God thanks for it. I listened to his presentation and his presentation was we are going to be, praise God, be supernatural because we are going to preach and dilute the word of God. We are going we are not going to preach the ice cream gospel.
gospel, but we are going to preach the Christocentric gospel, the gospel with Christ in it. And that is one of our thoughts. We have heard, we have stayed up, we have worked hard, we sometimes we grab some snack, we grab some crackers, and even some sweets to make sure that our books are finished and to do our best in our exams. We have arrived, Mandeville. Stand with me. Spot yourself on the shoulder and say, we have come this far by faith. inviting you to be part of our Bible reading club. It is something the Lord impressed upon my heart to teach believers how they can read their Bible fast, memorize the Bible, and increase the anointing of God in their life. Go to the Deeper Life website, which is www.deeperlifeschoolofevangelism.com O -R -G. Just register your name and say, I am interested in being part of the club, the Bible reading club. Okay? And we will send you an ID of the Zoom meeting looking out for you. It is free. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. We hope this program was a blessing to you. Feel free to call us for prayer and counseling at 876-923-1040 or 876-631-7108 or you can WhatsApp us at 876-451-8509. You can also visit our church location at 4C Norwich Avenue, Kingston 11 on Sundays at 9 a.m. You can follow us on our social media platforms for more updates and sermons at Facebook, Deeper Life Bible Church Jamaica, Instagram, Deeper Life Jamaica, and YouTube at Kingdom Life is Deeper Life. Join us next time for the Revival of Truth broadcast. Revival.